What is up you guys, my name is RVZ and welcome back to Corpse Party. Now we are gonna play the extra chapter 1 before we get into chapter 2. So that's gonna be a gentleman's errand. Alright, so I suppose it's a new game. Yes it is. Okay. Let's see what we have here. My name is Nana Ogasawara. I'm a 7th grader at uh, Musashikawa Girls Middle School So that's Nana And I can't help but wonder Why did this happen to us? I was just playing around with some drama club friends and some high school kids after class when uh, suddenly everything went white and we found ourselves trapped in here Uh. And by we, I mean me, my friend Shihaya Yamese from Homeroom and an old friend from another class, Nari Hamatoya, whom I've known practically forever. Those two were the only ones in the room with me when I came to. I'm not sure what happened to the others. A rep from another class, Hikari Kirigami, and two high schoolers named Naruse and Kazune were with us before, but nowhere to be found now. So Shihaya Nari and I have been wandering these halls aimlessly for quite some time in search of them. Shihaya was the first to brave uh, using the bathroom and even went in alone, but came running out not a moment later claiming to have heard a scary voice. During her flight, it seems she dropped the, the punch she always carries with her. I've always agreed to go in and find it in her place. Oh, god damn. Is this before... Is this before the events that happened with uh, chapter 1? The mirror is so cloudy, but you can't really make anything out. Why is it so dark? For goodness sake, Shihaya, this is clearly the boys' room. Oh, it is. All oh, right, the urinals. Okay. There's something there. I want to check this. This is always creepy. All right. Huh. Everything. What? The same thing happened at chapter one. Who the hell... Who the heck was that? That was definitely a voice. There's something about that... One bathroom. What the hell? Ah, I found it. There's a pink plastic punch on the ground. Pick it up? Yes. There's something about that bathroom. What the hell? I have no idea. I have no idea. I I don't know what's happening here. So, okay. There's three friends. Alright. Nana. Shihaya, I found it. Here. And it over the, the pond, yes. Yay, thank you. Uh, you know, though, when you drop something, shouldn't you be the one to go look for it? Uh, Nari. If you'll sleep, I'm. Are you gonna say I'm sorry? Apparently not. The three of us began wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Narus, Kazane, Hikari, our missing friends. We called their names over and over again as we walked. But our voices just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingless. Uh, we knew that eventually those voices would give out altogether, and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took, we couldn't give up, we had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left. For as long as we lived. 
wrong end? How is that the wrong end? How 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 is it how how is what? How is that the wrong hand? How? What? Yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in. Yeah, w we've seen this. Was I not supposed to? Hold on a minute. Uh, I'm I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Right, we're back here. What if we don't? Oh, what if we go? We go out. We can't go out. This room does give me the creeps, but I promised I would find a pound. I can't live without it. I suppose the only thing to do here is get the ignore the bathroom, get the charm or the pot, right? Yeah, get it. Without opening that, we go back. And we don't... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It came out of the bathroom. Whoa. Whoa, fuck. Nana? T eh. Oh, it's you. Don't scare me like that. Oh, sorry. You've just been in here for a while, so I was getting a little worried. Is everything alright? Uh, yeah. Everything's fine. Thanks, though. Great. I'll stay with uh, Shehaya. Then, uh, and you finish what you're doing. But please, if you can, hurry it up. What the hell? It did came from the... Bathroom? Is it the g g ghost Most impressive. He found what you were looking for. Without searching my stall. People have been bargaining in on me a lot lately. You see. I've been getting... I've been getting rather uppity with the living. For always shamelessly opening the door. With reckless abandon. As you comrade did a moment ago. My comrade. So did Nana... Oh... I get it. No, 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 the other girl, whatever. Uh, see, I'm quietly easily frightened, as it happens. The only place where I feel truly safe and at home is in this restroom stall. So we get to learn what's, what's with this guy, okay. It's strange, I can't explain why, but I don't find this person scary at all. Even though he's clearly a ghost. Then what? Hmm. As the spirit sways from side to side, the faint blue light radiating from its body twinkles throughout the room. What the fuck? Do I just leave? I guess I just leave. I guess that's it. Nana. Yeah, I found it here. Uh, hand it over. Yay, thank you. Uh, you know, you were- this is uh, exactly the same. Nari. I'm- Am I gonna get the bad ending again? Don't cry. Uh, there's nothing scary in there. In fact, quite the opposite. There is actually a ghost, but he's friendly. And he even talked to me. You serious? Isn't that, like, dangerous? No. It's totally fine. He seems like a really nice person. I don't suppose you'd want to meet him yourselves, would you? What? I think I would. After all, we've been here for several hours now. And there hasn't been anyone else to talk to this whole time. What the hell? It's really true. It's not scary at all. 
If I may, I have a favor to ask you three. Some rogue fiend has absconded with my prized gentleman set. By which I mean my hat and my glasses. If you would happen to upon them in your wanderings, would you be so kind to return them to me? Sure. I suppose. So, your possessions have been stolen, then? That's terrible. Wait here, we'll find them. You are too kind. What the hell? What the hell? Looks like our noble party of adventurers has accepted the quest. Let's give it everything we've got. Right though, this is so ridiculous. Find the gentleman's glasses. What the f oh, I, 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 I don't even. Is this door locked? It isn't locked. There's a message scribbled on the wall. Try the stall on the right. Try the stall to the right, rather. But, but it's. One more over. One more over. Too far. Go back one. There's a pair of sunglasses in the stall with star shaped lenses. Take them. What the hell? Okay. I got sunglasses. I think it would be pretty hard to look good in this. Okay. We got glasses. Is that is glasses? I don't know. Uh, girls, boys, keep the restrooms clean. Okay. Can I go back to him? Uh, offer the offer the sunglasses to the spirit. Uh, the spirit stuck out his lower lip and shook his head quite fervently. Uh, seems he doesn't care much for them. Guess they're not his after all, unsurprisingly. Okay. Those are not the ones I am looking for. What? Another spirit? This is a red one. Looking for something? I'm sure you won't find it downstairs anywhere. I will. Yeah, I'm going downstairs. I think I'm going downstairs, I don't know, this is... This is really creepy. What? Is it, is it the same spirit? The guy to the west is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. The guy to the west? West, okay. So to the west should be... Oh, there isn't a body here. Everything seems fine. I think this is what happened before chapter 1, but I'm not sure. The two guys to the north of me are both telling the truth. Okay, you should believe everything they say. And you should also return to the third floor right away without exploring anywhere else beforehand. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And there's one guy at north. And... He says the one at the west is lying. Saying that... This one is telling the truth. Oh, this is... Okay, hold on. The guy to the south is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. Okay. So... Wait a minute. Doesn't make sense. Okay, North says West is lying. West says South is lying. South says The two at the North are right. Okay, so we will ignore this one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Screw the guy at the West. If he's lying, yeah, screw him. Uh, this is the side. 
This is not a Oh, it is. It is a science lab. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Because the infirmary is down here. Oh, there isn't. Oh, there. There. This is the infirmary. And it's locked. Oh, fuck. I think that was bad. And I did it again. And I shouldn't have done that. But I did it again. Uh, okay. You should believe everything they said. If I, if I believe everything they say, then... But I, I returned, there's nothing, I don't... Let's go down, let's go down. There's something here. Uh, it's a pair of uh, distinguished looking glasses sitting on the... I'm not, I'm not gonna take them, I'm not gonna take them. They're, they're... This might be a trap. Before I take... A strange force seems to be repelling you. You cannot progress beyond this point. This makes no sense! This makes no sense, okay. Maybe take this then. What the hell? Okay, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Now, can I go? No. Okay. Um, there's nothing else I can do. There's nothing else I can do. Wait, the spirit is gone. Uh, my leg really hurts, Nana. Oh god, another one that hurts. Oh god damn. Oh my. Chihaya, I think you need to rest for a bit. Uh, this is too much for me. Um... Okay, we keep going, we keep going. We keep going, everything's fine, everything's fine. What do we have to say? The countdown has begun, you'd better hurry, hurry, scurry. What countdown? What countdown? What the hell? Do you have anything else to say to me? Find what you were looking for? I think I did. I think I did. I... I think. I don't know. Uh, okay, we gave the... Okay. You have my eternal gratitude. I have always felt that these glasses existed in this world solely to be worn by me. And how oh, I miss them. They look really good on you, I assume they do anyway, it's hard to tell, since it's basically a blue glow. I guess all that's left now is to find your hat, right? You are too kind. Find the hat. Okay. Okay. Whoa. What? What? Do I need to avoid them or...? Oh fuck! Oh! That's smart. I need to avoid them now. What the fuck? What the hell? Are you okay? Are you okay to talk to? The item you seek is downstairs. Need help finding it? Try talking to moving spirits. No, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna talk to moving spirits. Alright, you're standing still, right? The countdown has begun. What what countdown? There's no countdown. Okay, I suppose I need to talk to the spirits then. Alright, I'll talk to them. But not touch them. Talk? Nope. That doesn't work. Their HP is getting low. Oh no. Oh, I did what? I, at least I, I didn't touch them. Okay, the spirit is holding a cue to the infirmary. Uh, yeah. Get the key. Acquire the key. Get away from him. Okay. Could the hat be in the infirmary? Maybe? Are you gonna talk about the countdown again? Yeah, whatever. Countdown. Yeah, okay.
All right, let's get in. Door is locked. Use the key. Yes. Although this is creepy, I don't think this is. I don't. I. 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 I, I really don't. I really don't. I really, I, I really don't. I really don't. Uh, yeah, it's a head. Yeah, there's a felt head on the ground that seems to radiate an air of luxury and refinement. Take it, yes. Yo, uh, we got the head. Can I get out of here? Without? Oh no! Oh no! Where? What is happening? Jihaya? I'm tired. I hate this. I want to go home. Jihaya, it's okay. We'll get out of here. I know we will. How can you even say that? What possible reason could uh, you have for believing that we'll ever be able to leave this place? Jihaya. Are you saying I can hold you responsible if we never get home again? Shihaya, that's enough. I've had about all I can take from your whining. We're not in the safety of our own familiar little world anymore. People aren't going to bend over backwards to spare your feelings here. We're fighting for survival. It's every girl for herself. So don't think for a minute that we are going to stop and console you every time you have a damsel in distress moment. Just because we're your friends. What? Yeah? You're crying? Go ahead and cry, see if I care. Nari, that was totally uncalled for. Not everybody is as strong-willed as you, you know. No. What? Please don't go away. Fine, do whatever the hell you want then. What the hell? Okay, they're still together, which is good. Uh, oh, here's the guy. Oh, you have my thanks once again. I've always cherished this hat, you see? It was, it was specially selected for me by Tanaka, one of my most beloved subordinates. You actually look pretty decent. I'm glad we were able to find it. It seems like it means a lot to you, but it just feels really good to help someone in need. Doesn't it? Yeah. You are truly benevolent souls. My eternal gratitude is yours. Okay. You possess such clear eyes and pure hearts. If I still lived, I would use the rest of my days to offer you protection and guidance. Um, I shan't lose these items again, and I should hope that you do not lose the generosity that you've shown, for this place can quickly and easily crush the spirit. In times like this, especially, it is important that you must not succumb to despair, nor forsake your true nature. Rather, you should scoff in despair's rotten face and embrace who you are, love yourself. But now, I must bid you adieu, for my home is calling to me. I pray that you three as well will find your way back to your own homes in due time. Going back into the... What? <laughs> Nani? Dwe... 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. He's a pretty fun person, huh? Dwe... Dwe... Oh my god. I, I'm... Okay, alright, okay, okay. Yeah? I have no means of being exorcised from this place, of course, so this is as close to a home as I can find. Ah, be it ever so humble.
Do I, do I, do I think I'm going to leave you alone. Do I go out? Is that it? Although still apprehensive about our surroundings, we felt slightly better having done a good deed and held our heads high as we existed in the bathroom. I mean, exited the bathroom. From there, we began wandering the darkness halls of the abandoned school building once again. Naruse, Kazane, Hikari, our missing friends. We called their names over and over again as we walked, but our voice just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into the nothingness. We knew that eventually those voices would give out altogether and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that ineftability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left. For as long as we lived, this is the same ending. Just tell me it's a good one. Blood is cut. Bl oh, I mean, blood covered. What? Corpse burn? Okay. Oh, true end of shift. Oh, nice. See you in the next semester. Oh, okay. I got the true ending. Good. Good. Achievement. Good. Okay, anyway, our next episode will we'll continue into chapter 2. But till then, I'm gonna leave this video here. Let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section below. If you actually enjoyed the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And as always, I hope to see you again.